The ex-USS John F. Kennedy, the retired first-in-class aircraft supercarrier, is headed to the scrapyard following a nearly 40-year service. Its legacy will live on in a new supercarrier and stories of the insane prank that once happened on its decks. The last conventionally powered carrier built for the U.S. Navy. It was the last conventional aircraft carrier built for the Navy, which the Navy has replaced with the nuclear-powered Nimitz and Ford-class carriers. The Kennedy was propelled by eight conventional boilers and four steam turbines, allowing it to reach speeds of 34 knots. First in class. The Kennedy was a variant of the Kitty Hawk-class carrier and designated CVA-67 for attack aircraft carrier. After undergoing a series of modifications, the Kennedy's classification was changed to CV-67, the only ship of its class, denoting that the carrier was capable of supporting anti-submarine warfare aircraft like the S-3 Viking. As tall as a 25-story building from keel to mast, the massive carrier measured nearly 200 feet in height and more than 1,000 feet in length. If stood on end, it would reach the 84th floor of the Empire State Building. As wide as a World War I destroyer was long, the flight deck was as wide as a World War I destroyer was long, more than 250 feet at its widest point. Armament Its armament included two launchers for Sea Sparrow missiles, an automated close-in weapon system, and two rolling airframe missile launchers. Deployment. After its maiden voyage to the Mediterranean, the Kennedy participated in 18 official deployments in its 38 years of service. The greatest military prank of all time. Apart from its history-making service and features, the Kennedy also was the setting of one of the greatest military pranks of all time. In 1986, the Kennedy was set to relieve the Kitty Hawk-class supercarrier USS America after a six-month deployment in the Mediterranean. What was meant to be a common change of command quickly turned into a hilarious practical joke, as aviators aboard the America dropped off an unusual payload on the new arrivals. Three greased pigs died with red, white, and blue food coloring. Brian Kristoff, an aircrewman with the HS-11 Hello Squadron aboard USS America, shared a video of the event in a since-deleted post on Facebook in 2023. Plagued by budget cuts In 2005, the Kennedy was proposed to retire due to upkeep costs, freeing up more than $1 billion in the Defense Department's budget at the time. Two years later, the ship was formally decommissioned with dignity and honor, and stricken from the Naval Vessel Register in October 2009. Sold for a cent. In 2021, years after it had been decommissioned, the iconic warship was sold to a Texas-based shipbreaking firm for just a cent due to how costly it is to tow and recycle the vessel. USS Kitty Hawk, which was also sold to International Shipbreaking Limited for a cent, arrived at the scrapyard in Brownsville, Texas, in 2022. The Kennedy was set to follow in mid-December 2023, but Robert Barry, Vice President of International Shipbreaking Limited, said the ship has yet to make an appearance, and he has no idea why. I wish I did. I really do. I have a few thousand people poking at me about it, and I just don't have a date, Barry told local Texas newspaper, The Monitor in late December. Until the Navy puts out something and tells us something, I don't have anything. Anything I say is probably going to be wrong, he added. By contract, I can't say that much anyway. 
I really thought we were going to see it in December, but it didn't happen. Crying over a rusted piece of metal, a group of veterans who sailed on the Kennedy during the Vietnam War mourned the ship's impending scrapping. Don Russo, one of the group's founding members, recalled his time serving aboard the supercarrier. We were on the same ship at the same time, same division. We worked together, drank together, Russo told local newspaper Grant County News. I can't tell you all the other stuff. Our wives are here. The group, dubbed our division, toured the decommissioned carrier in an emotional final visit last year. Five of us, crying over a rusted piece of metal, they said. The next JFK. Though CV-67 is destined for the scrapyard, another ship of its name is already at sea. USS Kennedy, CV-79, is the second in the Gerald R. Ford class of nuclear power aircraft carriers. Officially launched in 2019, the Navy's newest warship touts a hefty $11 billion price tag, albeit $2 billion shy of $13 billion USS Gerald R. Ford. The carrier recently tested its new electromagnetic aircraft launch system last month, launching heavy cars into the James River to make sure it can handle catapulting actual fixed-wing aircraft. 